Hello, it's both. Let me begin the video of the Laplace transform. This video is for engineers, university students, or many people like you guys who are interested in this mathematical concept. First, what is the Laplace transform? Uh, to know it, uh, we should see the symbol of it is like this. L, which is cursive. So when looking at this symbol, you can say that I do the Laplace transform with ft, which is the function of time. Well, you may ask a question to me, why t means time? Well, the possible answer of the question is that we should solve the differential equation like RLC equation or mechanical problem. And those situations and those examples is processing by time passing. So uh, for the reasons, uh, we should uh, know that ta t means time uh, commonly. Anyway, uh, definition of the Laplace transform is like this, integral formula. So we can realize that the left formula is the symbol just symbol of the Laplace transform, but right formula is the ma mathematical definition of the Laplace transform and the same meaning each other. And as you can see, function of t becomes the function of s by doing the Laplace transform. Well, unfortunately, we have to memorize these formulas and this concept, integral formulas like these, uh, to use this skill. Then, let's practice solve the integral formula. How about ft is constant? Now, ft is constant and uh, it's easy. It's easy because we only have to calculate this integral and put the function into this place for any function. But this situation for this example, the function of t is c, constant. The same meaning. And, uh, well, it seems that you already know that constant is able to get out of the integral by mathematical theory, a concept, linear property in high school course, right? Right, yes. And, well, by a uh, well-known uh, formula, exponential the integral formula, uh, we can get the, this result. Uh, you must not forget to write the C, which is constant, in front of the limit symbol. Yes. And substitute each values uh, values it sub substitute each values and multiply c each other then we can get this result and we we know that by the limit definition limit property this value is zero because exponential minus infinite it goes to zero so this value is zero and we can get the result, which is c over s. So, the result of the Laplace transform with the constant function is the c over s. Wow, we can get the result. Like this way, we only have to put any function into this, this place. So, well, any function like Oh, well, ex uh, exponential function, or, well, a direct delta function, or, well, trigonometrical function. Then, why don't we do the formulation? Formulation. Let's formulate each situation with uh, several important functions of time, of t. First, how about this situation? A function of t is t to the power of n. Then, uh, let's 
uh, Laplace transform to the Laplace transform and we can get the result is n factorial over s to the power of n plus 1. Yeah, we, can real, we have to real, uh, memorize and uh, then uh, we can use this formula by memorizing and we can solve the difference equation in fourth video. Yeah, let's go. And second, how about exponential function? Exponential a t. a is constant like c. Yes. So, and Laplace transformation, and then we can get the result, which is one over s minus a. It is also formula, which is uh, to be uh, memorized by us. And how about trigonometrical function like cosine and sine? How about cosine omega t? Omega is also constant like c or a. Then the result of Laplace transform is s over s to the power of 2 plus omega to the power of 2. Yes. How about sine? Sine omega t Laplace transform then we can get the result which is omega over s to the power of 2 plus omega to the power of 2. Yes, then we have to memorize the, these um, basic, basic formula. So uh, we have to at least for these necessary, necessary formula. Well, we have to learn, uh, be in, so notified, because cosine omega t and sine omega t. Let's see the carefully. We uh, don't confuse each formula below two formulas results, because we uh, may confuse each formulas with cosine and sine. Let's see. How about cosine omega t? When we cosine omega t Laplace transform with cosine omega t, then get we can get the result of uh, which is s over s to the power of two plus omega to the power of two, and sine omega t we can get the result omega over s to the power of two plus omega to the power of two. So the difference is the numerator. Cosine omega t, uh, then we can result is the numerator of the s. Uh, numerator of the this result is s, and but sine omega t, then the numerator of this result is omega, which is constant. The different uh, the difference is this. So with these. Um, carefully watching, we can memorize uh, definitely uh, these necessary formulas. Let's review. Uh, in this video, we can study uh, definition of Laplace transform with this integral definition. And memorize necessary formula, please, so because we can uh, later times we can uh, solve the differential equation, uh, second prime differential equation, which is can be treated in fourth video. Uh, if you uh, uh, leave the comment or yes, uh, etc. So yes, so you can solve the mathematical or differential equation by memorizing necessary formula and using the Laplace transform and the necessary formulas like these. It is very important thing in this video. Well, let me finish this video and let's meet in the second or third, fourth, etc. videos later. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.